Pleasant good afternoon to each and everyone in Georgia, Indiana, and out of Guyana. I am asking you to please subscribe to my channel, and if you like what it is, we could get you the second thing, just press the bell. Well, now I'm going to take you into the little historical event. For all who was born in the 1960s, the two major citizens of the country, the East Indian descendant and the African descendant, fellow Guyanese, you are not African, you are the descendant of Africa as a black race. And you, the East Indian, you are not Indians, you are the descendants of India. And therefore you will have to learn to live with each other and respect one another as it used to be before the two diseased surface, Burnham and Chetty. If it was not for the girl, the Indian race would be wiped out, the male acts. Read the X-13 plan, about the X-13 plan, the Western Trial Part 1 and 2. Barrett Jack, you don't know nothing, he studied in Moscow. Mr. Ali, well, whatever he does in accounting, his father was a teacher. Maybe he was home too, told, was home, home taught, you know, they teach him home. But with all the accusing for 19 counts and 18 counts, I hope you have a bigger count like the rest of them. I have nothing against you all, but when you all cross the floor and attack me or my family, I challenge all of you in government. If we lie on you, kill us, take what we got. This for the black race and the Indian. And if we thief, do the same. But we wanted a lie detector test for all of you. Same for us. What goes to the goose goes to the Ganda. Since you all want law and order in a country where don't belong to both of you. Since knowing you all are emancipated and they have arrival. I was born in Guyana. I have all the race in me. The Bible, the Quran, well, I don't know about the Ramayana because the mind of the book is raw. This means they're not mature as yet. And the Vedas is a lot of hide and seek. So I'm not going to get into the people's philosophy about Hinduism. It's a false religion and is one of the greatest teaching for civilization in the past. Because European and others went there to learn him, the great Adolf Hitler sent the scientists there. But what I'm getting at? None of you, the black people in Guyana, was emancipated. You were born in Guyana. Accept your birth rights. And you East Indian descendant, you were born in Guyana. You did not arrive. If not, you have to leave. Idi Amin drove more than three quarter million Indian in 24 hours out of Uganda. Burma killing and burning y'all out. India did not even take one. Between Bangladesh and India and Pakistan, there is a big electrocuted mesh according to information is alleged that executing your own Indian even though religion separate y'all, Muhammad versus Ram and Krishna. But the prophet have not to do this is your illiterateness. So, and you our black brothers, because of boundary and tribal warfare in Africa, many of you are still suffering there. And they have more slaves today than any time in history, 1.9 million young Black African in West Africa slave in the Cocoa Farm and other places. According to the French journalists who they murder, chop him up to pieces. That is tribal affair. What I'm going to enlighten you here about, let me thank my agent in America and in Guyana, those who find Mr. Raymond Rafiq Hussein address and place of location where he, had, he visit and what he do. And also, Miss Jasmine Tikalal Singh. Well, I and the other one in England who talk about lawsuit, Susan, whatever, Kitta Chatty, whatever Chatty she name. A woman have no respect for other women like herself. I have not the game, so, but I want you to know one thing. Once you cross the line with me, we will have a problem until then. Or until your brother in Guyana who told you, or whoever told you on the video, while you were talking, sister, they lawsuit, they want your house in diamond. Let your brother know we don't want diamond and gold. Remember those words. We don't need diamond and gold. It don't take you to heaven. And all who got those things, they're dead and gone, they ain't taking to them, it can't help them, okay? You go with the good and the bad in the graveyard, and if God won't give you a chance in the day of trial. So what, let me explain to y'all. In Guyana, also, 
the young man in Guyana, Waco, Waco, whatever call he call himself, I want him to know we already got your address, got your whole family name. You better apologize for that word that Anthony Snow is a fraud and I am a fraud. Okay? You will not like the outcome. Care that they give the police commissioner. Can, I don't trust the police force because they take out of corrupt ministers. Guyana is considered one of the most corrupt country in the entire universe, according to population. And I want Mr. Barry Jack Neal, Vice President. I want Mr. Harvey Norton. And I want the brother in Brooklyn that is talking trash about racism. Let me break it down to y'all. But let me deal with this first. Indian people are not racist. They're just stupid and they're corrupt to the core. I'd rather deal with a black man who's a racial person because you were told that or you read that. But you should open your mind to the arising and travel the world. You have cell phones. You can see any part of the world now if you make friends with people and they will show you. The truth was not told, was divide and conquer. Burnham and Jagan divide Guyana for they conquer. Burnham was in charge of TUC when he threatened Garden Todd and said he Jagan after getting rid of Richard Smile by the help of Burnham, an Indian, decent, honorable Indian who built the Indian school in Brigdam, the college or whatever, had to give up the union for the cane cutters so Jagan get it. No politician should be head of any union or be involved in any union, especially when they are ruling a country or opposition, because that is the force toppled the government in the 1960s on an 80-day strike. Okay, with the TUC. And according to Rome's alleged, some 10 million US dollars was passed by foreign agents. America had to protect Shibakyad out of communism. Dr. Jagan was invited to the White House where he told Kennedy he could stop the clock but he cannot stop communism. At the same time, the missile and the ship for Cuba had to return back to Russia. So Dr. Jagan didn't care one shit. And the next thing, if Dr. Jagan had loved you Indians, why send your children to Russia, Czechoslovakia and Cuba to study, but send Joey and his daughter to America and Canada? Is that a man who loved y'all? That he love you so much, he send you to Russian country while he send his own blood to the Americans and the Canadians what he was party fighting against. Your people are very stupid and illiterate. Start to study and read and get up into it. Well, my message here today, we don't need power. We need justice. Guyana is considered, a counter population, the number one country in the world of corruption and racism. 200 and something thousand blacks. Out of that, like I always say, 70,000 to 80,000 God can open heaven. Mm -hmm. Other revenue. The rest is misery. All right? But let it be known to you, everybody have a price. And somebody will call your name. Could be your wife, could be your girlfriend, might be your children. Might be one of them who break away because you rob them. Because the money where the hitman pay you or the politician pay you to kill you didn't pay them the amount, so they're going to talk, your whole family can answer that charge. Trust me, like China and Iran and some other country that don't take nonsense. You Indian especially, after suffer for 28 years with the PNC in power, we are burning room for a long time and hide, barely get the first term and try to turn it around because of the crime that was established in you, the Indian race and others with raping and killing, national service, people, militia, many women was raped. Tell their I, George Karaya said so. And I got name of plenty living Canada and America and elsewhere. Plenty other race women have to, and I'll give you all straight excuses, fuck to hold their job. All right? And when the Indian get power, some minister fuck around with a secretary. I ain't calling name. Okay? I'm giving them a fair break. If you believe in Allah and you believe in the teaching of Jesus, I call upon you to stand up for what is right. You have children, all of you. Some of you got grandchildren. They will not enjoy this world. I'm telling you, the world is changing. 
You can't run to England, Canada, and America and elsewhere and hide. People gonna find you. So I called upon you, the government under the Ali regime, to make laws that when people lie on people and found guilty, they must be executed. And if the thief, their hands must be chopped out since you're a Muslim. But then a man told me 20 minutes ago, all the ministry of parliament will have no hand at all. So we will have problem there. Maybe he knew what I don't know. But a little Indian bastard, he said he from Grove, he called himself Wako, Wako or whatever, which I should have known he mentally ill, called me a fraud and Mr. Snow. We got an organization which everybody know about it. We get jobs for people. You join as a member and we send you to the interview the job and you do it online and you fail because most Indians cannot speak English properly. Many get jobs all over the world. Job fair worldwide. But some stupid coolie, I would say, not Indian, calling us fraud. And some of these women who pay a thousand or thousand five for membership and to help them, calling us fraud. Why y'all not put your name on a picture so we can get down to this? We don't need money, you know. If you all know who's behind us here, none of you ain't escaping. But we're gonna make a lesson out of some of you. Especially, I don't know why the PNC joined with AFC to form APNU when those people were trained to hate PNC. And cost we, the Portuguese, that joined with Barnum with seven seat. I am calling on the decent African descendant to stand up for dignity and honor and to liberate yourself that we can bring Africans into Guyana from Africa and give them a break because we need a population. And also from India, but then we need education. We need two hours early in the morning, the word of God between Christianity, Islam and Hinduism and two hours in the evening, the same thing. We need to make sure that our people, everyone get house lot to build their house. And every family must be given 50,000 US to build a house, a man, a wife, and a kid. And if they got more, there's no, no problem. And we must work together to protect the country. Every citizen must learn three or four hours every two times a week to use an ammunition to defend your country from foreign invaders. The army must not get involved in the national affairs in the country against its citizens, but they are there for border dispute. And if the police can't do their job, then they shall and will be called out to hold the peace. And the police must understand, if you're locking up a man for bribery and thief and corruption, and you get caught in it, you don't need jail, you need to be executed. I, George Correa, said that. And if you kill an innocent man, giving his age and disappear him, Somebody will call your name, can the police commissioner, the commander of the police station, somebody got to know, is your whole family going to answer that charge? I hope you understand what you're doing. You will get judgment or not before you get it from God and the devil. All right, remember, God and the devil is forever and ever. Millions and billions a year, we are only temporary. Right? And Jesus said it nice. Do unto others, you let them do unto you. With me, you kick me, you kick your ass back. And Muhammad, peace be unto him also, he had problem in your own country as spider saving life. Are you Indian or Muslim and not ashamed that an insect, a spider, save a prophet life when their own family was trying to kill him? And according to India with the Mahabharat war, could he fight in one another, Indian fighting in one another over wealth? Does any one of them live to enjoy it? Where is the wealth? Where is the body? The skeletons are lying in the grave, just waiting on God and his time. So I'm calling on all of you, the pandits, the imam, and the priests, as I am a priest, to join hands and offer the president an opportunity for a day of prayer for the country. And we want a holiday for the late Walter Rodney, Uini, and Dublin, and Waddle. And even Vincent Tika all in one, because they were servants of the country. 
The late Teddy Jagan know what he do with Bonham to get rid of Mr. Vincent Tinker in Alexander Village at the back. We got the whole thing with the American woman, as they say, the black woman. Don't worry. There is a God, friends. None of we will live forever. Now, when Israel is fighting Guyana for three quarters of the country, we all know, from Paris time to now, I heard the other day the Venezuelans said they didn't have no agreement with Guyana, only Britain. When I call upon Britain to take back Guyana, it's going to help them economically with the crisis in England. But we want the guillotine, the hangman rope, and the cat nine tail, and we want law and order. We want everyone to respect the law. All right? Burnham had moved the Queen grandmother from in front of the court and put it in the Batani garden. He bring it back and put it in the court, but they lose her hand. What a shame. But you all talk about slavery and cheap labor. And for you, my black brothers and sisters, don't cause and insult the Indian. If they didn't arrive to Trinidad, Guyana, and elsewhere, you all would have still been a slave. Because they were cheap labor. They save the consequences and the name of the day. And if it wasn't for Adolf Hitler, the KOR, from Chamberlain and Churchill, then this is what happened. The world would have been free again. We would have still be in the European hands. And in Guyana, the boy called me and Mr. Snow a fraud with some of these bitches. Put your name, your address, and a picture, let me see. If you fail a test, we must pay for that. When you go to the U.S. consulate and apply for visitor visa and put down your 300 U.S. or more, and the, the visa last five minutes interview and you fail, does the ambassador issue your $300 back? No. You fail, my friend. You lie. So that is your problem. Okay? We organization help a lot of people in Africa, Caribbean, and elsewhere. Because we believe in charity. We believe in a God. Many in Guyana get good job. You Indian, 70 to 75 percent can you speak good English? The black people is ahead of the game with the English. And as I said again, they are more loyal to the cause of Guyana. They're quick to get in confrontation because of corrupt politicians who misled them. Give them some money, liquor, food, and music, and they are gone on a war page. But I'm calling on God for them to change. Friends, y'all are destroying the future of your great grandparents who fought for liberation. I honor coffee, a revolutionist, not an opportunist. Y'all wake up. Don't let these politicians them hold you hostage. And corrupt judges, magistrate, prosecutor, and police who beat and kill people. And lack of innocent because of politician and corrupt businessman. Y'all days are numbered, then you're gonna answer all these charges and come back. A plenty like detector test will be there. I don't blame Exxon, I blame the seller. If a young virgin girl won't give away herself free, don't blame the man who takes your virginity. Blame the girl for don't understanding she value. So if you sell the oil for a penny for every ton, don't blame Exxon. At least they are doing good to the world. They are getting the energy. But we must not forget Venezuela with Chavez that help our people. 120,000 Guyanese family are over there. Some are in the military who go to fight yours. And in Suriname, 44 to 42,000 living there from the 70s, 80s, and 90 times to Bonham. Their children going to take away your river if y'all don't know what you're doing. So I call upon Mr. Ali, unite this nation. If the police of commission and others set them up so you will see, open up the jail, and I said it again, open the jail and release the prisoners and make room for the political prisoners and corrupt businessmen. All like in Bagastown, we never get justice for we land with the Ali family at Latri. And at Canaan, a coolie man say he buy a dam, an egress and aggress dam. And the NDC with another coolie chairman deny we our rights. My friend, do not push it. We are all dead people. You all have children and grandchildren. You have family, sisters, brothers and all. All right? 
And I think if Mr. Ali cannot do the job, Ali Nandalal must dissolve the presidency because he has balls. He stand up against the corrupt racial few. And for Ms. Harris in America, the vice president, I have a message for you, my lady. All those who come to you and call the government of Guyana racial and corrupt, they are wrong. They are corrupt, not racial. The people who talk about race, they are the racist. Ask them what they do to people who look like you, Indian like you, even though you mix. Who they may rape, they kill. Ask them. Tell them George Coria said so. And they're going to Mr. Joe Biden. Come on, Biden. Tell them the truth. Who put Barnum in power? Who keep them in power? And who give Jagan a chance only to make sure that he died two years in his first term? Ask them. And ask them, who put David Granger in power? And since he called a terrorist a hero, they all get, they get rid of him. And they give back the PPP a chance. Ask who moved the PPP at one time. Over prayer, man, he me what she said. She was wrong, she was right. But she chose the wrong place the wrong time. Anyhow, we'll get back to everything and let the truth be told to everybody. The decent Indian and African descendant amongst you, they don't get involved in this. Let's unite and form a national front government. Put an Amerindian man or woman as leader. My reason for that is their country. They didn't arrive, they were not emancipated. And after now, they're still there and they're free in their own country. When the law book stated, he who receives stolen property is worse than the man who stole it. So I think we need the jail to be open for the criminals then. And Jesus said it better. Give. Do unto others you like them do unto you. So remember those teachings. Long live Prophet Muhammad. Long live the teaching of Jesus. And long live the teaching of Krishna. And Mahatma Gandhi. Not forgetting Martin Luther King. A peace making our time. God bless all of you. Have a good night.